This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, May 31st. Happy Memorial Day to this coming Sunday, June 6, 2021. Magical things are happening, so allow and participate with trust in outcomes. The universe has a plan for you, and it's written by your soul. All this energy is eagerly calling for you to join in the magic. For your complete enrichment, here is an alignment for you to embrace for balance. So just for a moment, see and feel. On this bright sunny day, you are outside, bare feet, toes wiggling in the rich soil of Mother Earth. Connect with your true soul essence. Feel the bright sun on your skin. Warmth flowing throughout your body, filling you with divine golden light to heal and remind you of your true source. And next, you find that your toes are now in the sand, the waves gently rolling up the beach. You walk into the water and feel its softness gentle on your skin. You relax and are free floating in the ocean of life, flowing with the current as it whispers in your ear all the wonderful things calling you forth. And just breathe into this imagery and this alignment. And now you're aligned and connected to Mother Earth, your divine source, and to your soul. And this is your connection to your world and to your life and to the yearnings of your soul. You are here now, ready to allow all the magic life has to offer. And you're here in this lifetime for a reason. You have a purpose and there is meaning in the magic. And it's time to allow all the goodness you are here to enjoy. The love, the connections, the soaring spirit heart, the healing, the alignment to all that makes you truly smile and laugh. Because this is the reason the planets move through the heavenly sky. This is the reason the sun shines upon you. And this is the reason water flows. And this is the reason your heart beats. Because you are perfect, whole, and complete. And you know you're not alone on this journey. Not only does your soul have a plan and a blueprint for you, your guides are always available to guide and assist you. Make sure you connect to all the goodness that's your birthright and all the magic that's leading you to the outcomes that you desire. And I'm here for you. A reading will connect you to your source guidance for answers, understanding, and clarity. You can clear the karma and you can have the happiest outcomes. So connect with me today. All the information for your reading and all other things going on in Spirit Pathways is on my website, spiritpathways.net. All right, now <laughs> that you're all aligned, connected, and all this goodness, let's pull our cards for our energy for this week. Nine cards. Give us our reading for this week. Three. Here we go. Time decisions. Get a ladies out, and then I'm going to go over each one so you understand the energy, and you can use this energy to your personal best advantage. For this week, Rose Quartz. 
a loving light energy to help with your alignment. All right, the hanged man. This is a waiting for timing card. <laughs> we're still waiting. <sighs> a year and a half later, we're still waiting for things behind the scenes to come into alignment for us. But you know what? Things are happening. Things beyond your control that you're not aware of, they're happening. So let that help you with your perspective. Because this is also a card of perhaps needing to change your perspective. And you know, while you're waiting, allow the epiphanies. Allow the spiritual alignment to help you with all that trust. All that trust in the outcomes. So yes, the hangman says you're waiting a little bit longer, but it's not going to be much longer. It's all temporary. So while you're waiting, please make sure <laughs> you don't get stuck in the past. Don't keep looking back as to how things were before, because that's simply just what it is. That, that is how things were before. But it has nothing to do with the future. You've got to cross this bridge because here's the future right here behind this person who's focused on what's done and finished and in the past. He's got to pivot to be able to embrace the new opportunities and the new goodness and those new wonderful outcomes that he's been trusting in. So don't keep telling the story of the past. Don't keep trying to dredge up the past. Instead, let's absolutely move forward and get to our future because here it is. <laughs> I think we had this card last week as well. It's you holding the world in your hands. It's you here up in the highest, wonderful height of placement. I'm losing words for this. He's on the balcony at the top of his castle. And he's overlooking everything he surveys from this higher point of view. That's where you're operating from. That's your highest amazing goodness. And that's where the world is your oyster. That's where you hold this world in your hands and you can think about what it is you want to create and how you want to create that thing because it's all soaring and happening and available to you now. And here is the balance. The six of pentacles. As you give, you receive. It's allowing yourself to give as well as allowing yourself to receive, which is a profound balance as well for you. If we have something that we have in abundance, whether it's money or talent or gifts or time or compassion, we need to share that with people that need it. And in return, things are going to come to you that you need. Time and love and balance and and all the abundance and the prosperity that defines your life. So open up this flow of giving and receiving. The center card is temperance. Hmm, a beautiful <laughs> card of martyr, a card of moderation while you're waiting for the hanged man and his timing and his epiphanies. Temperance says you have things to help you and don't get obsessive about worrying about things. Allow the assistance and most importantly of all and absolutely connected to the, what we were talking about before we pulled the cards is the magic and allowing the magic. That's what this card is all about. That's the alchemy of the fluid between the two cups. It's magical alignment. And when you look back in your life on the most wonderful things that happened to you, there was an element of magic that you got out of the way and allowed to happen. So you aligned with that wonderful thing. So temperance is telling you, allow the magic because you're on the path here to the golden crown. It's more balance for you. The red wings are paying attention to what you're passionate about. And all these symbols here, the triangle and the glow around the head, is similar to the hanged man of allowing the epiphanies. Allow the spiritual alignment to lead you because that's where the magic is. The magic's not in your logic and in your head. The magic is in your heart and it's in your soul. So that's going to bring you all the things you're passionate about. <laughs> 
the love, the romance, the passion for life, the excitement about your life and what you're doing and how well everything is turning out. That's what this card is about. It's about allowing that magic that brings all that passionate alignment for you. It's available to you. It's here now. So just relax. Connect to Mother Earth. Connect to the sun. Connect to the sea. Connect to all those things that allows your soul to whisper to you the truth of the love and the amazing, passionate, wonderfulness of your life. It's all there, the wonderment. And the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> like the Hanged Man, we're going back to timing. And so don't get lost in feeling that things are not happening for you. Realize that your prayers have been heard and they've been answered and they've been acted upon. And the wheel is turning. Things are happening behind the scenes that you maybe aren't seeing yet, but it won't be much longer. It's not going to be, you're not going to be stuck forever. This is temporary time. The momentum has begun. The momentum is playing out. So while you're waiting, do the hangman, the, the, uh, the different perspective, and the Wheel of Fortune says do the research and do the learning and do the connection. So when all that timing opens up and it is here now and you're so excited that you're completely prepared and make sure you're not carrying a bunch of burdens. Just let the burdens go. They don't belong to you. I believe we've pulled this card for several weeks as well to remind you not to carry the stressors oh, and the worry and the tension that someone else may have imposed upon you. Just let that go. It's not your problem. It's not for you to solve or figure out. It's for you to drop it and walk away from it. That opens the energy and gives you this Ace of Swords, the beginning, the beginning of what you want to create. Here we get logical swords or wisdom and knowledge and intellect and experience. And the Ace says you want to begin something with all that knowledge and with all your experience. And yes, it might be difficult in the very beginning, but once you get over the hump, it's going to be easier. It's going to flow. You're going to see the benefits and it's going to grow because an ace is a beginning. So once you begin this wonderful new venture, it can't help but grow. It's going to grow because aces always grow and flourish and bloom if you participate with them and if you allow them. So think about what that thing is that you want to create now because it's an alignment for you. So there you go. This week's energy. Whoops. Bumping into everything. Have a wonderful week. Connect. Listen to that alignment at the beginning of the video as many times and as often as you need to help you align, to keep you aligned to your soul, to your divine source, to all the goodness that's yours. You are here now and you are perfect, whole, and complete. And I can't wait to see you next week. So, bye-bye.